Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today I am covering the new game mode, of which is the M24 Chaffee Racing game mode. As mm, some of you might know, some of you might don't even know what this game mode is, I will explain it in this video. As you could see, I have made a quick introduction of this game mode, and I will of course put one of my replays up after this short introduction to put some post that yeah post game commentary on that so keep tuned for that but guys they have added the m24 chaffy sports and again as a tier one just like the previous carl tank we had and just like the previous t62a sports football or soccer game mode we're going to look into the stats of the m24 chaffy now it has got thousand hit points because you can actually shoot tanks while you are racing will be shown in the replay Top speed 90 kilometers an hour, which is really nice. Of course, traverse speed 60 kilometers an hour is insane. That is really nice. No armor at all, as you can see. No turret armor at all. Shell damage 63 alpha. Let's take a look at the gun. It's a tier 1 gun. It's the same 75 millimeter as on the real M24 Chaffee. But as you can see, it's still the same. It has enough penetration to go through everywhere in the M24 Chaffee, even on your opponents. Average damage is 50, even for the premium rounds. I don't even bother shooting these premium rounds at all. Won't even matter because you will always penetrate your shots. But it might be handy to bring some consumables like repair packs and fire extinguishers with you because tanks and your opponents will be able to shoot down all of those things like crew members modules and of course will try to set your engine on fire if possible so i recommend bringing that stuff with you you can always put some equipment on this tank but i'm not even bothering about it oh look at that the red soul really interesting to keep that in mind guys i've just spent all my credits to buy some new tanks but i won't go into much detail for that Let's take the M24 Chaffee. It has a good view range, that doesn't even matter at all. Signal range doesn't even matter at all. It's just important, it's a really quick, fast tank. So let's now take a look at the replay of the race. Alright, guys, here we go. As you can see, the map is just one big racing course and there you can see there are our opponents you can point the gun at them it is just one big racing course and as you can see the leading course eventually ends up in the base <laughs> it is an encounter game mode i guess because the base is kept yeah capable for both teams as you can see there are ramps on the map the tank goes so fast the tank even drifts through curves in the map you can drive through buildings, you can drive through cans with oil and the explosions are absolutely insane. And as you can see, there are jumps, of course. Here we go to one. There we go. And as you can see, you can damage your opponents as well. So keep that in mind. Quick turn. Oh, I turned my tracks in too early and I bump into the things. But it doesn't matter. I just keep on driving. I keep on driving. As you can see, they are keep shooting me as and I'm thinking, how the hell are they shooting me? Oh, one of the enemy tanks got into line, yeah, into my line of driving. So what I do, now I figure it out, I auto aim at him and I keep firing at him while I am still on the move. This was my first battle though in this game mode, so I still had to figure things out myself as well. As you can see, you can just press three times R to go straight forward and keep driving you can concentrate on driving the tank while you have outer aimed your gun at the enemy so that you can fully concentrate on driving your tank one thing you have to think about is that you're not to lose too much health while you are driving and now you can see a few of the M24 enemy chaffies stayed behind and I auto aim at an old one so I unlock the target and I choose the new one so, I can concentrate on driving again. So, there we go. But now, you might ask what happens when you run into the base. Well, that's easy, you have to cap out. Just like a normal yeah, battle would go, but you have to cap out 
with your teammate. You can shoot the enemies, of course, and that will, of course, reduce your cap points. So you really have to be smart about how you're going to fight your opponents because this is going to be a real brawl at the end. As you can see, you can go left here or you can go right up on the building. I think right up on the building is safer, so I go right up on the building. <laughs> it is one big racing jump map. There we go. <laughs> and we are down here into the enemy base. Well, now I found out, okay, you have to cap to win. So let's immediately search for some cover to try to keep my cap points. What I do, I duck behind this thing, drift all the way around. It's absolutely awesome. And I start shooting this guy. That was a really weird critical hit. But now I see we've already captured the base. I don't want him to reset the cap, so I drive forward. And we won. GG. These are the post-game battle results after you have finished one of those game races. As you can see, if you win, you will get a new medal called Racer 2014. And guys, there are also some missions including this event. For example, this mission is survive and win the race while driving a special M24 Chevy Sports Tank. Reward 5000 credits, 100 experience. And crew experience 1000, so that is not a bad mission, guys. The second mission in this event is really special. Win 50 races and earn a total of 1000 base capture points while driving the special M24 Chevy Sports Tank. Reward half a million credits, 50,000 experience, one premium day account. One slot in the garage and crew experience 25,000. That is absolutely ridiculous. So Wargaming are encouraging people to play this game mode. I really would like to uh, collect this mission as well because that's a really nice reward. But keep in mind, 50 races and you will, yeah, in a 50-50 chance, lose, of course, half of them. So you at least have to do 100 battles for average then. And last but not least, we have got the discounts on what is discounted in these days during this event. On crew skill training and retraining for credits, 25%. On crew training and retrain of gold, 25%. On dropping crew skills for credits, 25%. On dropping crew skills for gold, 25%. On purchasing consumables for credits, up to 25%. Purchasing consumables for gold, up to... 25% and another one that I can't read because there's a stupid message in the way but guys I also noticed that a lot of tanks are discounted during this event so get those tanks if you can buy a few more tier 5 tanks you can easily make more profit out of them by playing those tier 5 tanks you can buy old tanks back which you have sold in the past so that would be really nice to collect credits with that's my tactic by collecting credits that's why i had no credits at all when i was in the garage so guys that was the video of today i hope you liked the video me showing off the new m24 chaffy game mode go play this game mode yourself it is absolutely awesome i played it as well as you could see i love the game mode it's finally something different you can still shoot your opponents and you can of course also still race your tank around the battlefield really quickly that was this day's video, I hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time guys.